from as far away from Hollywood as possible. It's the 2022 Backpacking Grammy Awards. Hello friends, welcome to the 2022 Grammys where we are gonna give away awards to the best ultra lightweight backpacking gear that I have acquired in 2022. Ultra lightweight Gram gear for me, the Grammys. Tonight we're gonna to give away awards in five different categories. They include best backpacking gear, best backpack, best backpacking material, best backpacking clothing, and the best backpacking meal. A lot of my friends like to buy the same gear that I have. Get my gear's name out your mouth. Keep my gear's name out your fucking mouth. Bob Pelton just slapped me. All of the votes for the Grammys are audited by Dewey Cheatham and Howe. And now on to our first category, the best backpacking material. The best backpacking material category. Dyneema composite fabric was once known as Cuban fiber, once the Cadillac of ultra lightweight backpacking gear. This high-end woven waterproof laminate fabric has unmatched strength to weight ratio. Ultra 200 is one of the strongest and most durable fabrics available. Waterproof and lightweight, Ultra 200 has extremely high tear and tensile strength and very cut abrasion and wear resistant. EcoPack is the first 100% recycled laminate pack fabric. The laminate combines a recycled polyester face, a blue cross ply, and 70D ripstop backing. Each yard of the material uses 20 plastic bottles. Sil Poly is one of the more affordable options for ultra lightweight waterproof materials. Often competing with Sil Nylon, Sil Poly absorbs less water and has increased UV resistance at a fraction of the price of Dyneema and Ultra 200. And the Grammy for the best backpacking material goes to Ultra 200. Yes, Ultra 200. I first uh, saw Ultra 200 when I got the Evolve backpack from Waymark Gear Company. This stuff is super durable, it's super lightweight, and it's waterproof. And I like the material so much that I bought some more of the material and I made my own stuff sacks for my hammock, my rain fly, some poles, my electronics, all sorts of things. I even purchased a new fanny pack from Light AF that is made out of Ultra 200. Not only is it super ultra lightweight and waterproof, it feels better and it's much more abrasion resistant than Dyneema. Now on to our next category that is the best backpacking meal. The best backpacking meal category. Peak Refuel Biscuits and Gravy was new to me this year. I don't eat a big breakfast, but the buttermilk biscuits, sausage crumbles, and peppered country-style gravy provide a delicious 1,100 calorie dinner. An oldie but a goodie is the Peak Refuel Beef Stroganoff. It provides warm and hearty beef, rotini noodles, mushrooms, and cream cheese. This savory, creamy dish hits the spot after big miles. Right on Trek Hearty Beef Bolognese provides a savory tomato sauce with Italian herbs, ground beef, and talagati noodles. Included aged cheddar cheese, parmesan, and red pepper catapults this meal above Mountain House and Peak Refuel options. Backpacking mac and cheese meals rarely live up to the hype, but the Right on Trek mac and cheese is very good. Backpacker Magazine says it's not only the best backpacking mac and cheese, but that it is better than Kraft. And the Grammy for the best backpacking meal goes to Right on Trek Bachmeal Mac and Cheese. This creamy delight comes with high quality noodles and what really sets it apart is it comes with packets of onions, parsley, cracked black pepper, and hot sauce. Really make it a winner. Now on to our next category that is the best backpack. 
the best backpack category. The Light AF Curve 40 liter is a custom printed framed 40 liter with suspension. While incredibly light, this Dyneema pack carries 35 pounds comfortably. The external bottom pocket is a favorite feature of this pack. The Z-Packs are called as the OG of ultra lightweight backpacks. It is a 62 liter adjustable frame backpack with a grid stop fabric and a 40 pound capacity. This backpack was my first ultra lightweight pack and a workhorse for a long time. The Waymark Gear Company framed through 40 liter is my go-to for longer cold weather backpacking trips. The Eco Pack material, heavy duty mesh and generous padding make this pack very durable and comfortably carries 35 pounds. The Waymark Gear Company Evolve was my first dive into frameless packs. This ultra frameless 38 liter has a weight capacity of 18 to 20 pounds. The limit can be extended a little with a detachable hip belt. And the Grammy for the best backpack goes to Waymark Gear Company Ultra Evolve 38 liter frameless backpack. That's right, give it up for Waymark. Not only is this backpack made out of that Ultra 200 material that already won an award tonight, but it is designed and constructed to the highest standards. It's really designed for that ultra high mileage, ultra lightweight backpacker. So if you're in that category, check out the Ultra 38 liter Evolve. They also come in a 35 liter. If you want to check out Waymark, but you're not in the market for a new backpack, check out their water bottle pockets. They're the best ones that I've ever seen. But be careful, when you get a frameless backpack like the Evolve, do not exceed the weight capacity in it or your shoulders will get sore. Now, on to our next category, which is the best backpacking clothing. The best backpacking clothing category. Injinji Merino Wool Toe Sock Liner is the ultimate base layer sock for hiking. By wrapping each toe in merino wool, this sock prevents blister causing skin on skin friction and keeps your feet comfortable and dry, wicking moisture away from your skin. The Appalachian Gear Company hoodie is a fleece alternative. Alpaca is warmer and lighter. Alpaca is also lighter and retains less water than wool. Appalachian Gear Company weaves their own material from Peruvian yarn at their North Carolina facility. Smart Wool Merino Wool has been my go-to base layer for years. New to me this year is a heavier 250 Merino hoodie. It is a good winter base layer or a mid or top layer in shoulder season. Pudola 3 inch running shorts are not for the modest. These Amazon shorts with only a 3 inch length leave little to the imagination. But the shorty shorts provide good ventilation and help prevent sweating and chafing on the Franken beans. And the Grammy for the best backpacking clothing goes to... Whoa, it's an upset folks. It's the Injinji Wool Toad Sock Liners. Give some love to Injinji. I used to laugh at people who wore toe socks and the idea of a flip-flop or having something between my toes makes me cringe. But these comfy gloves for your feet are life-changing when it comes to preventing blisters. For only $15, you really should check out the Injinji Merino Wool Toad Sock Liners. And now on to our final category, which is the best backpacking gear. The best backpacking gear category. The Nightcore NB10000 Generation 2 Ultra Slim Power Bank is 40% lighter than comparable power banks and is thinner than a phone. It has USB and USB-C ports. Nightcore already has credibility as being the maker of my favorite headlamp. The Warbonnet Thunderfly tarp is a smaller partial door tarp than my Warbonnet Mountain Fly. A tarp that I love, but it is enormous. This smaller and lighter tarp offers plenty of coverage for my Warbonnet Ridge Runner. Not all tent stakes are the same. The MSR Mini Groundhog stakes are a balance of small and lightweight and strong with holding power in the wind. Six of these Y-shaped 6-inch stakes weigh 2 ounces. The Warbonnet Spindrift Sock has been around for a long time. They seem like a great concept, but I have never seen one or know anybody who has one. It works well and will be included in all future winter camping trips with my Ridge Runner. 
The Grammy for the best backpacking gear goes to War Bonnet Outdoors, Thunderfly Rain Tarp. How about it for War Bonnet? Yeah. The Thunderfly Rain Tarp is designed for people who want the simplicity and convenience of a simple hex tarp, but it provides a little bit more coverage with those smaller doors on the end for when the weather gets nasty. And am I right? Look at that blue color. That's pretty sweet. Thanks for coming to this year's Grammys. How about we give it up for the band? Good work, fellas. Again, these awards are given to gear that I own and that I have experience with. Of course, there's other awesome gear out there. If there's another piece of gear, food, clothing that you love and you think that I should check out, comment down below and let me know. Be a winner, go ahead, hit subscribe, Punch that bell notification and check me out on Instagram and Facebook. Enough for the awards. We'll see you out on the trail.